Hi everyone, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. And what I'd like to talk about today is how to create a back channel when you're presenting in a Microsoft Teams class meeting or any class meeting with any platform. Um, I don't normally like to do presentations of new materials when I'm in my live class meetings, but sometimes I do have a need to do that. And I find that when I'm presenting a PowerPoint presentation or some other new materials, it tends to be a one way mode of communication. I'm presenting, the students are listening. It can actually be quite disengaging for students because they have to listen to me ramble on for a long period of time and they don't get to interact with me or with each other. So how do you go ahead and act, add that back channel, uh, that way for your students to communicate with you? Well. There's one way to do that when you're presenting in a Teams meeting, and that's to use the chat box area. You can see that I actually have uh, one sample chat message typed over here in my Teams meeting chat space. The problem is that this is not really anonymous. When your students post a message here, their name is going to appear by this. So you're going to get some students who might uh, just sit back and not bother asking you a question because they don't want to be uh, feel like they're on the spot, they don't want to have a permanent record of the question that they asked, tagged with their name, whatever the reason. There's actually a number of reasons why a lot of students don't speak up as much in live class meetings. So it's important to add that way that they can actually speak up, that they can get their voice, but they don't feel like they're on the spot. Now, the tool that I'm going to demonstrate for this is called Google Slides. It's very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint. You can actually upload PowerPoint presentations and present them using Google Slides. So in my Google Drive, I actually have a, uh, a sample slideshow created here using Google Slides. And I want to share this with my students, and then I want to give them a way that they can ask me questions. So what I want to do is come into my Teams meeting and actually go ahead and hit this share button here. And I'm going to pick my screen. So I'm now presenting this screen to my class and I will open up my slideshow. So it looks just like Microsoft PowerPoint. My slides are open up here. I have a couple of slides that I can present. And to actually present this to them, I'm going to go ahead and click on the present button here. Now I'm going to hit the drop down menu because if I just hit present, it's going to go full screen. It's not going to give me the interactive options. So I hit presenter view instead of just present or present from the beginning. It gives me this little control panel. And what I want to do is hit on audience tools and start now. You'll notice that what students see in the presentation is a URL that pops up at the, uh, at the top of the slide here. Uh, ask a question at this URL. I'll show you what that looks like for students. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that URL. And I'm going to open up a new incognito window. The reason why I'm doing that is I don't want this to pick up my login credentials. So I will paste that URL here. It opens up a window that looks like this for me. So your students can actually use this URL in their main web browser while they're participating in the Teams meeting, or they can use this URL on their mobile device, their tablet, whatever device that they want. They can get to this URL and they can ask a question. I submit the question. You can now see the question is here. It's listed as anonymous because I'm not logged into Google in this browser. If a student was logged in, you would see their name show up here. But when you ask the question, if you're logged in, your name shows up here. It would say for me, uh, I'm asking as Rob Power, but there'll be a checkbox I can uh, check off if I want to ask this anonymously. So I can ask the question. You're not going to know who asked it. So what does this look like for you as a presenter? It can get quite annoying when you're presenting and you're in your Teams meeting and you're trying to follow along questions over here in the chat box. It can get quite distracting. It can interrupt the flow of your presentation. Well, not with Google Slides. When you're actually presenting, this is what students see. They will not see the questions pop up here. They'll see it pop up in this other window that they have open. It will not interrupt your slides. You're simply presenting the slide that you want at the moment. But you'll see this nice little box over here 
with all the questions that have been asked. If I want to stop my presentation at any point and display this question, I can simply click on present here. The question now pops up for students to see. Do that again, here we go. The question is now on the screen for all students to see. I can answer that question and then I can hide the question again and go right back to the presentation that I was giving. This gives my students a chance to ask me questions and to have that anonymous voice if they're afraid to speak up in class. But it also gives me a chance to go ahead through all the slides in my presentation without interrupting the flow and then deciding when I want to ask the questions uh, and answer the questions. You'll also notice that there's a nice little upvote, downvote here, a like, dislike. Students can click on these in their question view window and they can like the questions, upvote them, downvote them. And you can also see then in your window which questions have the most likes or dislikes. And you can determine which question is the most important for you to answer first.